Alrighty, last chapter, Trial of the Gods, or I mean last episode, last battle if you will, last level. Give it a name. To prove his worth, Torgor must pass through the caves, passing whatever test the gods have set against him. It will take all of his cunning, skill and courage to survive, but the rewards will be great indeed. Alright, so it's just my hero. Still have a lot of potions with me. Thorgar as well thought he could take his entire army with him. It's just him. There are but three fates for a champion of chaos. To die in battle, to be overcome with mutation, and devolve into a chaos spawn, or to achieve immortality as a demon prince. Alright, so well, I think he was a demon prince when we killed him in the Empire campaign. So... I guess we'll become a demon prince then. So that's how chaos spawns are formed. They become oh, they uh, they are overcome with mutation. All right. Sure. This one. We got here spiders, I betcha. It's like a trial. Trials. Gotta pass them in order for us to become a demon prince or something. New objective. Complete, complete. Destroy the spider nest, alright. Oh, there's more of them. Oh, that thing is still alive. I, th oh, I thought I killed it. They spawn quite fast. I'll just focus on the nest then. Alright. I think that's the best, because if you don't attack the nest, these things... Looks like they'll just keep spawning. Last nest. Now what? This thing will open up again? Seems like there's multiple ways to go through. Alright. This door opens. Can I go here? 
Okay, these doors are still closed. This seems to be a dead end, so I guess there's something here that will unlock the left path. What's that? I'll just walk through it, see what happens. Didn't really need that, to be honest. You get wrecked, boy. What's this? There's an item in there. Catch an X. I'll just hit them. One shot, all of them. How many hit points do they have? Only one. That's why they're instantly dying. Kill all play. There's 24 of them. That's a lot, man. You got me. I'm plagued now. Not getting any XP here. Maybe I'm max level. Or the highest level I can achieve in chapter 1. Maybe something like that. Here's an X. Catch. Killing them pretty quickly. Uh, 18. Alright, just 6 left. Your warriors, you're victorious. You're doing it all alone, mate. There we go. Get the item. Fobane. One damage. Alright. Oh, what's this? Alright, got two units here. I quit the Fobane because it gives me an extra damage, which is actually pretty good. We have a door leading down. Was there a door leading down here? No. Burgers curse during this test, so not really sure how I am cursed at the moment, but kill all the blood letters. Oops. Crap. So I was able to hurt my own units. Doesn't really tell me how many blood letters there are.
There you go. Is that all of them? It's not like it's hard. It's just time consuming. They don't give me a number, it just says kill all of them. I like the looks of these blood letters, like small demons. Alright, please tell me this is the last one that will spawn here. That's all of them, right? What now? I will seek out my foe. Alrighty. Ooh. What's this? Lots of blood letters. Is that part of kill all the blood letters? No. gonna get crushed here there's a lot of them should probably merge my hero no crap no I didn't mean to flee I wanted to detach my hero Come on, stop fleeing. Yeah, I totally misclicked that one. Alright, enough fleeing, man. Where is my hero? My grows with every Kill the blood letter. Alright, let's hope these items were worth it. Gold, gold, potion, potion, potion. If really needed, I could always use this one. 25 charge. To resurrect these units. <clears throat> what do we get? Minor power stone. Minor magical infusion. So these two. Bit of gold. Or gold. Medium healing pot. That's the first one. Yeah, it seems I'm uh, XP capped. I wonder if this also works on my uh, regiment. Another item inside an aura. What's this? Spawn of Chaos. I 
thought I merged my hero with the melee units. Gonna target them. Now I can finally. Right, that's the first one. I killed the other guy. This morale is really low. Kill him quickly. Crap, there's more of them. How much HP do I have left? Four. Three. Two. Use one of these. Does this heal me? Yes, it does. Oh, sweet. He did say the power of Nurgle did revive him, so it's fully healed him. His morale is still no, uh, nowhere to be seen. I had to use my potion though, because I was about to die. This thing is also quite tough. being teleported again yes with my army or without no without my army um where's the item so we had this one 10 percent shooting damage resistance now we get two ooh, that's actually really good melee and damage resistance it's got some really strong new uh items here now Could go back here and get that. There's another item. Twenty-nine? Is it the same as me? No, I have more HP than he does. I have fifteen HP, he has fifteen HP, alright. Gotta hurry up though. Eight and eleven. And my hero is not dual based, so I don't like dueling. Random non hero. I couldn't read that.
Interesting. He has a point, Nurgle. But I'm I'm vying to go to Corn. Right, let me ch check this ring out. Random non-hero melee attacker will be transformed into chaos pawn. Can only be chaos units. Um random non-hero melee attacker. All right, so is there like a little bit of information? I'm uh, not sure. I don't really like Nurgle. I'm gonna go with Corn. I'm not sure if there's any. Let me double check just in case. There is no information whatsoever. I just have to choose which master, but it doesn't show. I think this one is more warrior style. This is more like a curses, etc. Like damage over time. And the other, this one is direct damage, something like that. <laughs> you have served me well, Forgar. Yet you can become a greater champion still. For the glory of both man and god. I have pledged myself to your service, and I will do all in my power to bring you glory. Our great champion, Astavar Kull, was slain, and a great servant was taken from us. Yet all the gods protected his body, imbued it with their power, so that one day another might take his place. Body survived. The meddling elves hid it from us with spells that even the all seeing eyes of the gods could not penetrate. Go to the herald and ask about the elf mage. We showed him what happened, and he will guide you. I will not fail you. So I think your hero changes depending on which god you choose. I'm now having a helmet on my head. I kind of look like the guys that attacked uh, the Empire in the opening cinematic. You are victorious. Sweet. I wonder if I uh, get those units that I had command over.
Right, that's the end of chapter one. So we're now starting chapter two, The Wrath of the Rat King. To find the body of Asbar Kul and take up his mantle as the greatest champion of chaos. This knowledge was held alone by a mage, an elf of Ulfwan. To find him, Thorgar would need new allies, friends to guide his enemies, saw and heard many things. They dwelt beneath the surface, unknown to any. They were the shadowy chaos rat kings, the scathers. Oh, that's kind of cool. So we're getting a second team. We're gonna control the Skaven now. I don't remember playing a Skaven in this game. That's interesting. I uh, played as Skaven in Mordheim. They're very agile. Not that it will matter much in this game, probably. But in Mordheim, yeah, they are really... They don't have a lot of HP, but they can ambush quickly and they can walk around the entire map without any problem whatsoever. Alright, technically we only still did one battle, so we're gonna go to uh, Svenheim in this video. Let's see what happens. The ruins of this empire village have been claimed by faint warlord Sven of the Hundred Axes. Uh, from, uh, from here he has led many raids against the surrounding settlements. Amongst the charred finishers, uh, timbers and shared walls of the village, many animal skins, tents and lean toss have been raised. Sven is more than happy for others to spend their gold in his growing town, as long as they bring news and a good stomach for drinking. Aspiring champion of corn. Yeah, we're gonna buy him for 1k. And we got these warhounds now. I have the rest already. So let's read about this aspiring champion. An elite warrior of chaos dedicated to the blood god corn. There are no wizards dedicated to corn, for a champion of corn is the embodiment of the warrior who battles his enemies face to face, rather than blasts his foes from afar with magical bolts. Axes are the favored weapons of corn, and another common mark worn by his followers is the color of corn, a massive studded ring collapsed around the neck. Corn's champions are highly competitive, unless they believe that their god has brought them together for a grander battle to come. When two champions meet, it is almost inevitable, uh... It almost inevitably ends in bloodshed and the death of one or both of them. Well, don't start attacking Thorgar. Okay, this will be my duelist. There we go. He will be my dedicated duelist. Let's see, we got this one. Give him extra HP. Kind of curious, how much HP does he have? 22, which is not a lot, actually. Come on, give the staff to the other hero. Let go of it. Stop being so greedy. There we go, now he's got 27, so I gained 5 HP there. Give him that robe. Give him this. I can't use it anyway. No one can use it, I'm not even sure what it's for. Right, and let's read the story about the Warhounds of Chaos. Many Northmen tribes breed and train massive hounds for a variety of purposes, such as hunting and sport. Some Kurgan tribes delight in the spectacle of trained pit hounds fighting against beasts, bears, trolls, and other creatures. Generations of selective breeding has created the most vicious and powerful hounds, 
which are more wolf than dog, and dedicated to handlers rear these beasts to hunger for flesh and blood. The natural killers are made all the more horrifying by the warping effects of chaos, causing them to sprout horn, tusks, and spines. Alright. We can buy this thing. Another hell cannon. We already have one. So I'm not going to buy another one, actually. Uh, temple. Going to buy some of the upgrades for the warhounds. Uh, barracks. Alchemist. What is this? De Gottenheim. That's a nice helmet. I'm actually curious if I can buy it. A mount, sweet. Uh, Thorgar will be mounted from now on. Uh, this guy will be mounted as well. He's my dueling champion, so why not? Alright. Two mounts. And then... A banner. Let's buy a banner. Who can use the banner? My knights are already using it. These guys also have one. More real loss. Let's give them to... The extrawers. Why not? Spell Eater Shield. How much is it? 700? 750. Yeah, let's buy these for him. Why not? There we go. It's all the money I should have spent, to be honest. The next mission will go to Heralds of the Dark Gods. But that's another battle, so I'll be seeing you guys in the next. Till then.